Hi everybody, I'm Paul Tran. Welcome to Learning Unplugged, the place to come for acoustic music and acoustic learning. What we mean by acoustic learning is learning with no technology, except the camera pointing at me right now. What we do on Learning Unplugged is we take a look at some simple, effective models that help us think and do things differently. So let's put the guitar away for a moment. Last time on Learning Unplugged, we took a look at setting our own goals for the new year or whenever we want to set them. What we're going to take a look at today is four simple steps to help us create some clear goals with the people that we work with. It could be our direct reports, it could be our colleagues on a project, it could just be some of our nearest and dearest. What we're going to do is take a look at four steps to setting some clear goals goals. The first step is to think about your musts. These are the things that must be done. They're not negotiable. We have to do them. And let's be clear on the distinction between what must be done and what be nice to be done. That's sometimes a nice distinction to make. So first thing is sort out the things that the person must do. Get some agreement on that. The second step is to put goals into context. Why has this person got to do it? And why have they got to do it now? And how does it fit into the project, to the business, to the relationship, whatever it is? That context is really important because people often ask, why have I got to do it? Why has it got to be done now? It's really important that we can tell them that as much as possible. Now that leads into the third step, which is all about what's often unclear. Sometimes we just don't know everything and the people we work with may get a little bit suspicious. So what's important here is that we let them know what we don't know yet and that we make a commitment to let them know as soon as we do. So we accept this a bit of unclarity if there's such a word now and we'll let them know when things become a little bit more clear. And that usually reassures people and helps them get on with things. And the fourth step is to consider how much freedom and where that freedom is that the person has. Of course, there's gonna be musts. Let's also identify the areas of the goal where they've got complete or partial freedom to put their own stamp on things and do things their way. People tend to buy into goals more when they can put a little bit more of themselves into them. So let's be clear when they've got some freedom. There you have it. Four steps to setting clear goals. Think about your musts, the things that must be done. Think about the context. Why do they have to do it? And why does it have to be done now? Have a think about being clear about what's unclear and give a commitment that as soon as you know enough to make things clearer, you'll let them know. And the fourth step is to have people consider the freedom they have. Where can they put their own stamp on putting the goal into practice? There's your four steps. Have fun helping people set their clear goals. And if you wanna know more about Learning Unplugged or anything else to do with my work, you can take a look at the website, www.ptps.co.uk or take a look at the YouTube channel which is Paul Tran Trainer. Let me know how you get on in the comments below when it comes to setting some clear goals and I'll see you soon on the next Learning Unplugged.